So let's talk a little bit about the stance for batsman and batswoman. Um, feet slightly open, the right arm over, whether it's swinging in or swinging away. Shoulder also slightly open, so my shoulder is probably pointing at a very straight mid on. Uh, my right shoulder is probably pointing at a very straight mid off, which means my head is dead straight, wicket to wicket. So by being slightly open with my shoulders, it's really easy for me to get my head forward dead straight so I'm well aligned and well balanced. And I can have full completion of shot and a good long hitting zone and good reach through the line of the ball. Totally balanced, totally aligned. So from there, I can play straight, through straight mid off, straight mid on. But from that slightly open position, it allows my head to go and then my back foot, and this is crucial, turns in prior to contact with the ball. That back foot and that front shoulder is like my steering wheel. If I go this sideways, if I go that way, if I keep it like this, I'm in a great balance position to drive in the V. And also, if I'm slightly open, it's more natural for my V to be here. Now if I stand what people call sideways on, you know, head and shoulder to the ball, that sort of thing, my back lift becomes a lot straighter. I want to go this way, my, my most natural V is there. So I want to play through mid off, extra cover or wider, which means I'm gonna be going that way all the time. And I'm good, I could be good at that shot, but it does compromise the straight ball, which is why a common fault in English cricket with batters is tipping to the offside and getting blocked off. Because they're always looking to play offside because they stand very sideways on. And once you've started going offside sideways, it's very difficult to come back the other way and people tend to play around their front pad. Then they're vulnerable to being bold or LBW. So being open puts you in a great position to get your head forward, well balanced, well, well aligned, feet lined up, shortest drive for the on drive against pace bowler, longest drive for the straight drive. So I am now in a great position to hit in the V. And from that open position, it's easier to go from open to slightly more sideways on to play the off drive than it is to be two sideways and come back the other way. Chandra Paul, Steve Smith proved that you can go to the extremes of open and still play really well. Sometimes it can make it a little bit harder to drive through the offside if you are too open. If you're a top order batter, easy to leave the ball. I'll tell you why. If you're slightly open, whether it's hitting through mid on or straight or very straight mid off, you don't really need to turn that shoulder much. So you keep playing straight. Then if you turn the shoulder, that's your cue. If you want to leave it. If you're stood like this, and you turn the shoulder to play the ones on off stump, and you turn it a bit more to play through uh, mid off extra cover it's harder to find that cut off point on when to leave the ball because you're already starting to turn sideways but if you're pretty much in this position slightly open then the minute you go to turn you can leave the ball that's your cue play straight play straight as soon as you turn let it go so it's good to be slightly open when it comes to leaving the ball, because your head's wicket to wicket, and when the ball's wide of your right eye, if you're a right-handed batsman, that's your cue to leave it. Or when you turn, that's your cue to leave it. Makes batting a lot more simple. So, just to recap, slightly open, you could get away with standing like this. This is also a good position, and a lot of players do do that. It also helps you get your bat out over off stump. Anywhere from off stump to first slip, in that area is a good place to pick the bat up because you can cover the straight ball and you can hit through mid on so the bat swings in a straight line. 
if you stand very sideways on and pick up here, you go to get a bit excited and again want to hit a bit too hard, back goes behind you, suddenly you're getting blocked off and you're going to hit around it. You can't pick up straight and then suddenly bring it round, tip through mid on or mid wicket, it's too complicated. Simplicity is picking it up, up over off stump, so it's straight, pretty much a straight line, hitting straight, and also as, as you push your head there, see how my bat's gone out there, it's also a straight line to target, or straight bat, pick it up, close the face, high elbow, hit it through mid wicket. So it's crucial to stand slightly open and get your bat picked up between off stump or wider. Now if the bowler comes around the wicket, or it's the left arm over swinging it into me, even more important to be even more open because of the angle. So now I'm going to stand left arm, be more in this position. So again, it minimises me tipping to the offside. I can get that back foot in, turned in early. That needs to turn prior to contact with the ball. So it's turned, now you're in a good still position, hit through it. What you don't want to do is get to here, keep it sideways, and at the last minute it turns, then we get this sort of thing going on and, and the foot coming out here. So left arm over, swinging it in, slightly open, head there. This is the position to get in. On drive, straight drive. And even when the ball is pitched outside off stump and you want to hit through extra cover, it's the most natural thing to, 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 to do is have both laces pointing when you hit the way you hit the ball because you're balanced in the line. If you keep your shoulder around too much and your back foot stays parallel, a ball that should have been hit there ends up going through there. And if you get too sideways, you can get sucked into playing at wide balls. And again, you're going to tip to the offside, play around your front pad. Sideways means blocked off. Very hard to hit straight with that leg in the way. This is your, this is the steering wheel. It helps keep your, good in, your head in a good position. Because if you turn that, your head goes. So I've got to keep that out of the way throughout the whole shot. If it's an on drive or, 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 or a straight drive so I can get the back path right through the line of the ball for as long as possible. And even offside, once you see it's got to be hit through the offside, the shoulders and back are all one unit. You lean in, turn. Again, laces lined up to where you're hitting it. And again, there's nothing in the way of the backswing. No shoulder in the way, the back could go right the way through. If I turn too much, I've got to then get the shoulder out of the way a little bit before I hit the ball. And then this sort of thing should go on. So it's really, really important <coughs> that when you hit the ball, turn that back foot in prior to contact. Straight drive. On drive. Big full face of the bat through the line of the ball for as long as possible. And with 2020 cricket, bowlers tend to bowl more at the stumps. So if you want to be able to hit the ball back down the ground, the last thing you want is your leg in the way. So again, the sideways on sort of lures you into doing that. So again, 2020. You probably want to get your leg out of the way a little bit more. So you've got a massive hitting zone to hit through the line of the ball. Or you could even pick it up over mid wicket. Or you could even rock back and pull it. Being more open gives you more options on any given delivery. That's straight if it's on the length or back of a length. Obviously if you get a Yorker, you just got to try and dig it out. That's, that's well bowled and that's difficult to play. One of the best practices you can do in a grooving environment, is start in the set position. So that's the set position for an on drive. And then from there, you can go again to play a straight drive. You can go again to play an off drive. But it's making sure you're in the perfect position before you move. So you move perfectly, you hit the ball sweetly, and you get a good feel for it. And once you can get a feel for it, and you're doing that really well, then you might go back to your stance. From your stance, 
try and step into that position and hit the ball. Then you might do another set position one where you step and play it. Then you might go back to your stance again and try and get into that position from your stance. So you're gluing everything together and getting a feel for it. And you'll know if it's going well because you'll be hitting most balls out the middle of the bat and they'll be going exactly where you want them to go. If in a training environment against a bowling machine where the ball's swinging into you and you know where it's going every ball, you keep hitting it on the inside of the bat face and it shoots off over there, then you know you've got a fault. That's a complicated way of batting. In a grooving environment, you need to make sure from all angles and all swings, you're middling the ball and hit exactly where it should go. And once you've done that and you can do it really well, then if you want to improvise in a game and step across your crease and pick it up off your legs and do other things, that's fine. But you've got to have those hardcore basics in order first.